Will you join me in prayer? Beloved in Christ, be it this season our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this place glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and goodwill over the earth, for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build, and especially in our nation and this school and our city. And because this of all things would rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom, in this Lord Jesus, we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please be seated. Good evening and welcome to the 76th Annual Missouri Military Academy Evensong Program. Tonight is special for so many reasons as we gather among friends and families in preparation for the holidays. I want to begin by thanking the membership and staff of Mexico United Methodist Church for the warm and generous use of your sanctuary and facilities. We truly appreciate your support and encouragement. Next, I want to recognize and thank MMA cadets, faculty, and staff for putting together what we believe will be a wonderful evening of music, lessons that portray the birth of Jesus the Christ. Our evening together is special in another important way. We're dedicating Evensong 2017 to Colonel Charles R. Stribling III, whose life touched this school and community deeply. Charlie was present for the very first Evensong program in 1941. Finally, I would ask that if you feel compelled to applaud the performance, please wait to do so at the end of the program. We want this to be a worshipful and joyful experience, and at the end, we will enjoy your recognition. Now sit back, relax, worship, and enjoy Evensong 2017. One more reminder, please hold your applause. <laughs> it must be the person who left their lights on out in the parking lot. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. 
Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pangs in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your, hus of your wife, and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you are taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies and by offspring shall all the nations of the earth came blazing for themselves, because you ha have, obeyed, have obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God.
The people who walked in the darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish it and uphold it with ju justice and with righteousness. From this time onwards and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. A shoot shall come out from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of its roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. Out with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equi equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breast of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the faulting together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and their bear shall graze, their young shall lie down, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand over the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God.
In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Cornelius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave to birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there is no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews, who observed his star at the rising, and have come to pay him homage? When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who is the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod sacredly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time where the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search of the diligent for my child. And when you have homage, when they have had heard the, the king, they sent out and their ahead over the place where the child was. Then they saw that under the star had stopped, where they were overwhelmed with joy. And entering the house, they, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid them homage. When opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left their own country by another road. Thanks be to God.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
Now you may clap. Thank you. Please remain standing and join us as we sing Joy to the World.
Thank you again for joining us this evening. And may God, who provides us with the joyful yearly remembrance, God's own great work in the world, grant that we joyfully receive these reminders and live with sure confidence in love of God now and forever. Amen. And we are finished.